Well, this week has been filled with major headlines in the U.S. and around the world. Here's more in our Week in Review. Faith and Freedom. The week kicks off with the president honoring evangelical leaders at the White House. Together, we will uplift our nation in prayer, defend the sanctity of life, and forever proudly remain one nation under God. Also on Monday, trade deal, the U.S. and Mexico reach a new agreement to replace NAFTA. Also on Monday, a heartfelt surprise. Oh my God! <laughs> you asked me to come, I'm here. Rapper Drake makes a little girl's wish come true with a surprise visit just days before her heart transplant surgery. Tuesday. The man President Trump predicted would be a great governor of Florida, if elected, is one step closer to making that a reality. Congressman Ron DeSantis has won tonight's GOP primary in what appears to be a landslide victory over Adam Putnam. Meantime, Martha McSally clinches the GOP nomination for Arizona's Senate. Midweek, change of venue. Paul Manafort's legal team requests his money laundering trial be moved from D.C. to Roanoke, Virginia, due to negative publicity. Also on Wednesday, President Trump announces White House counsel Don McGahn will be stepping down this coming fall. Also on Wednesday, California State Senate votes in favor of increasing the legal age to buy a rifle from 18 to 21 years old. Meanwhile, in Florida. Two construction workers in Orlando are dead following a scaffolding collapse. The incident happened this morning at a Marriott hotel under construction just outside of Disney World. Moving on to Thursday, from bullied to baller, an Ohio football team invites an eight-year-old boy with cerebral palsy who was bullied on the field to join them on the sidelines of every home game. Also that day, Greyhound bus versus semi-truck, a collision of a New Mexico freeway leaves several dead and dozens injured. And banned down under. Convicted whistleblower Chelsea Manning is banned from traveling to Australia for a speaking tour today. An event organizers announced the Australian government's denied entry to Manning just days before she was scheduled to speak at that event. Also, MAGA rally in Indiana. We are putting your great Indiana coal miners and steel workers back to work. As the president stumps for Indiana Senate candidate Mike Braun. Finally, on Friday, the president stumps in North Carolina for two Republican congressional hopefuls. Also, no deal. The U.S. and Canada continue negotiations for a revised trade agreement. And the late Senator John McCain lies in state at the Capitol Rotunda. He held fast to his faith in America through six decades of service. Meanwhile, in Detroit, a powerful tribute to the Queen of Soul. As Aretha Franklin is laid to rest. Rachel Alcenas, One American News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.